Hi Draw So Cuties, Whitney here. Today we're going to draw Sailor Moon. So let's get started. To draw a cute Sailor Moon, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and draw basically the bottom of a U. So I'm going to come right across, about right here, nice and wide. And draw a curve. And I'm going to try to make it a little bit pointier towards the bottom for the chin. So bring it towards the center, about right there, and then go back up. There. Slightly. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's come to the side right here towards the edge. I'm going to draw a circle for her eyes. And same thing right across, about right here, towards the edge. And now that I have my circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights. And a curve line at the bottom. And shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. So now that I have the eyes in, let's come to the sides right here. I'm going to add a bunch of lashes. So one, two, and three. And at the bottom right here, if you like to, you can just add three little ones. Same thing over here. So one, center one being the longest, and another one. And three bottom ones. There. All spruced up, right? <laughs> Okay, now that we have the lashes in, let's give her a teeny tiny little mouth. I'm going to have it open smile. So about right here towards the center, I'm just going to draw a soft curve and connect it at the bottom. Right here. For her mouth. There. And then now we can go ahead and draw her ear. So let's come to the side right here where her eyes are. And we're going to draw a curve. And then draw the insides for some detail. And same thing over here. And now we have her ears. If you like, you can also draw the detail where her, um, her earring is. So I'm just going to pop out a curve and another curve for like this little moon shape. So same thing here. Curve and curve right underneath. From there, we're going to start to have to draw her hair. So, um, to make it a little bit easier, I'm just going to imagine this oval. And I'm just going to give myself a point. Let's say about right here in this area. And in the center, I'm going to go ahead and go up with a curve. And we're going to bring it down towards her eye. So same thing over here. We're going to create this shape right in the center. Then from there, we're going to start to draw her bangs. So I'm going to go one, bring it down really close to her eye, two, another one, and whatever, I'll just tuck right in. Whatever space I have, I'll just tuck one right here. So kind of like at an angle. So same thing over here. One, towards her eye. And as we come here, whatever space you have left, we we'll just tuck one in. There. So her bangs right there. And in this space right here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a curve to finish it off. Right there. And um, in the center, before I forget, I'm going to give myself a point right here in the center. And I'm going to draw two angle lines. So this is kind of like her headband. And I'm going to thicken it up right there. And 
Well, you know what? I'll draw this oval inside the center. And I'll draw another band right on top and bottom. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> I didn't muddle up too much. There. And then from there, let's um, bring this up a little bit more. So we're just going to, for her bang area, for her bangs. And then let's come up one more layer where her ears are, and we're going to go up. So same thing here. So now let's come to the center once again, say about nice and high, say about right here. I'll just give myself a point. And from there, I'm going to curve up on one side and curve up on the other side. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect a big curve back to here. So same thing over here for the top of her head. There. Got that in finally. And then for some details on her hair, let's come to the center. Once again, give myself a point. And I'll just draw two curves and another one. So up again. There. So this one comes down a little bit more and this one's more of just flicks up. Then from there, we're going to draw those big buns that she has on both sides. So in this area, let's see about right here. Let's go ahead and draw a big curve. And then the inside the jewel. So right inside. We're going to draw kind of like a circle and another circle inside. I'm trying to look at all the details I need to draw here. And we'll quickly come in here lightly with some curves for some details in her hair. So it's just kind of curving this way. So same thing on the other side. Just drag a point across, about right here. And, oops, and here. So nice big curve once again. And bring it right back down. And the circles inside. So one. Oh my gosh, and one more. I'm getting very messy. <laughs> I think I'm being overwhelmed by all the little details we need to draw, right? So then let's do this really quickly right here. Same thing like the other side. Now it's going this way. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to draw her um, hair a little bit later. Let's work on her body first. And let's come right here because there's so many details. I'm trying my best to minimize them so it's easier to draw. But let's come down here. We're going to give her her neck right there. Then from there, let's um, come to the center. So I'm going to give her a little neckline right in the center. From there, I'm going to connect it right here. another angle right there and then in the center area right here is where I'm going to draw a heart for a pendant right in the center and then um, I'm going to draw this big bow that's right in this area and so that's why I'm just kind of imagining her armpits are going to be about here and here so I want my bow to cover so I'm going to bring this bow out so kind of like it in this area so we don't have to draw too many details. And same thing over here. So nice big bow right in the center. So just make sure it's pretty even. And then um, draw some details right here, a little crease. And then the tail of our bow. Once again, nice. It comes out and connects. There. So we have that main bow in. Then we're going to imagine that's where her armpits would be. So her body is going to come out about right here and here. So I'm just drawing two little angle lines. 
And I'm going to come to the center once again, about right here, and create another heart. Right there. And then in this area, I'm going to connect. So we're just slowly building downwards. And then right here, I'm just going to curve and bring it in. Curve and bring it in for a little detail. And we're going to if you like, you can draw this little detail as well, curves out and in. And, in. and then her skirt, right? So let's pop out her skirt to about right here on both sides. And we're going to connect it with a curve, but it's slightly pleated. So let's go one, come down one more level and bring it towards the center about right here and I'm just going to give it a little notch and do the same thing on the other side go back up about right here one more notch and up there so that's just your go if you haven't using a pencil you can just go ahead and draw a curve first and put in the notches if that's easier then from there we're just going to go ahead I'm going to connect it right here with a slight angle line and angle and go to create our pleat there okay so hopefully that's not too uh, complicated yet <laughs> and um, let's come down right here towards the center and I'm going to draw her legs I'm going to come right here to the center line and her legs are going to be here and here so with this line right here I'm going to bring it down slightly at an angle mm, say about that much and then right here I'm going to come down so it's getting thinner as we come down and then right here I'm just going to curve it out and then connect it very simplified uh, foot right and then same thing on this side let's bring this down towards right here towards the bottom thinner and about right there flare it out and connect right back in for her other foot and then for the details right here her boot let's come up right here and here draw two angles and she has this little moon detail so I'll just draw this little moon right here and then connect it there for her boots and then now for some more details on her arm oh and I forgot on her um, oh goodness this is so small but you want to draw a little heart right here for a choker that she has on her neck there <laughs> we did it and then on her shoulders are these they're kind of like uh, uh, these wing things that come up so I'm gonna come right here draw one two and three and bring it in so then uh, let's see here one and two there with a curve and so same thing over here just pop them out if you like one two and three and bring it in and curve and then let's see now finally her arms so let's work on this side just I'm having it come out so right here where her armpits would be and bring out an arm her shoulders so about right there if you're using a pencil just finish the hand first but I'm going to stop about right here for her gloves I'm going to draw one two three little curves and then connect it two lines and then continue her hand and bring it out about right here. Uh, so I'll save about right there and come out with her fingers. 
and then her thumb and get a little finger right here in the back there finally right okay so now for the other arm i'm going to have it on her hip so right once again where her armpits are so about right here bring out an angle and right here as well and in this area just like the other side i have to draw this little band so i'm just going to go one two three on this side and connect with a curve but if you're using a pencil definitely just finish the hand first and i'll bring this down to her hip and draw the little indication of her hand right there okay so then from there um i think that's pretty much the details right and then let's draw her hair so let's come about right here and i'm going to draw this long curve comes past her hand and just wiggle <laughs> and then right here imagine it coming through and we're just gonna wiggle a curve there so same thing on the other side so about right here we'll bring it down and wiggle and right here as well so about right here and curve there finally and then um, if you like you can draw some details right here i'm just going to lightly draw these lines on her hair and same thing over here so maybe one more there and hopefully i'm not missing anything i know there's a lot of little details on the heart but i'll just leave it blank for now maybe just add a little curve right here and let's see that is pretty much it for uh sailor moon here my oh no actually you know what i forgot her eyebrows <laughs> okay so let's come to the top right here over her eye <laughs> I'm just going to draw a curve right over her brow, I mean over her hair. And I just realized I forgot her bow. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so she has this bow going on in the back. Oh my gosh, so right here, you're probably like screaming at me, don't forget her bow. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck this in. I'm just trying to imagine what you'll see. And then at the bottom right here is this, the tail of her bow. So I'm going to come out two angles, connect it right there with a curve, come through again and connect it, curve and in. So same thing over here. So two angles and connect it with a curve then come down with a curve connect and then one more layer curve and connect and other than the bow i also forgot her hair So same thing on the other side, about right here. And once again, 
One, two, and three. I really hope I made this fun and easy for you to follow along with me even with all these crazy details. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Drossy Cute videos. See you later.